Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have to do, through my own thought, 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 through my own May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, 
vanity of vanities the preacher says vanity of vanities all is vanity for all is toil is toil under the sun what does man gain by it a generation goes a generation comes yet the earth stands firm forever the sun rises the sun sets then to its place it speeds and there it rises southward rises southward goes the wind then turns to the north it turns and turns again back then to its circling goes the wind into the sea all the rivers go and yet the sea is never filled and still to their goal the rivers go all things are their sum no man can say that i have not had enough of sea years the fill of yearning what was will be again what has been done will be done again and there is nothing new under the sun take anything of which it may be said look now this is new already long before the time it existed only no memory remains of earlier times just as in times to come next year itself will not be remembered this is the word of the lord thanks be to god the response of the psalm o lord you have been our refuge from one generation to the next o lord you have, you been, have been our refuge from one, from one generation to the next you turn men back into dust and say go back sons of men your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday come and gone response o oh lord you have been our refuge from one generation to the next you seek sweet men away like a dream and like grass which springs up in the morning in the morning it springs up and flowers by evening it withers and fades response O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Make us known the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent; it is your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. Response. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. In the morning, fill us with your love. we shall exult and rejoice all our days let the favor of the lord be upon us give success to the work of our hands response o oh lord you have been our refuge from one generation to the next and your rights for the gospel acclamation alleluia the dead 
others that Elijah had reappeared. Still others that one of the ancient prophets had come back to life. But Herod said, John, I beheaded him. So who is this I hear such reports about? And he was anxious to see Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord Praise is to your Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in the Gospel of today, we see Herod was anxious to see Jesus. We see in the Gospel of Matthew, even in the Gospel of uh, Luke, the infantile narrative of Jesus. When Jesus, the King of the Israel, the Messiah was born in the manger in Jerusalem, in Bethlehem, the three wise men came to see the King of the Israel. And, and they went to Herod the Great and they told him the Savior is born, the King of Israel is born, you have come to pay homage to him. And when Herod the Great heard about the birth of Jesus, he was disturbed, he was perplexed, he was tensed up. And he spoke to the wise men after seeing Jesus. You come back to me and you tell me so that I can go and see him. My dear friends, you know, Herod the Great, he did not have a good intention of seeing Jesus. His intention of seeing Jesus that he wanted to kill the child Jesus. That's why he told the wise man, you come back and you tell me. In fact, you know, he was telling lies. He was not happy with Jesus' birth. So he was uh, pretending that uh, he wanted to see Jesus. So his intention of seeing Jesus was not good. But it was bad because he wanted to kill Jesus. And here we see his son, Herod, he was hearing about Jesus doing miracles and wonders and all the good works. He was preaching with authority. And when he came to know about Jesus' glory and all the people, they were praising Jesus, they were astonished and puzzled of seeing all his good works. He wanted to see Jesus. He was anxious. Now I want to tell you again, here, this uh, Herod attack, not because he was very happy with what Jesus was doing, but he was curious, who is this Jesus? That uh, I am hearing about him, that he was doing wonders. So it was uh, just a curiosity. It was just a kind of, uh, to see who is this man, just uh, to take uh, kind of uh, details about Jesus. So again here, his intention was not good to see Jesus. My dear friends, I want to tell you, when Jesus was going with his disciples to Caesarea Philippi, he asked his other disciples, what do people say who I am? So the disciples said, you know, some may say that you are John the Baptist, one of the oldest you know, prophets, Elijah has come back. Then immediately Jesus then I turned to them, asked them, believe out what people are thinking about me, what people are talking about me, what do you think? Who do you say I am? Jesus wanted the disciples' answer, what do you think? What do you say who I am? You 
for staying with me. And uh, for that question, Peter stood up and he said, you, know, you are the Messiah, the only Son of God. So today, Jesus is asking each one of us, now you don't hear about me from others, what others are saying about me. And come and tell me about Jesus, he was also, no, I want a personal answer. So my dear friends, we should not give the opinion of others about Jesus in our lives. Rather, we must personally experience Jesus by faith in our life. We must be moved by faith in our life and we must tell Jesus, Jesus, you are so and so to me. Our declaration about Jesus, who he is, should come from our faith, deep faith in Jesus Christ. That's why we see in the gospel, the blind man, he was sitting here and Jesus was going there. He yelled and shouted, Jesus of Nazareth, have mercy on me and cure me from this blindness. It was his own declaration, it was his own call that he had faith in Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus, Son of God, that you can heal me, you can cure me. Like this, so many people, my dear brothers and sisters, we see people having experienced Jesus in their own personal life and they profess their faith. So let us pray at this Eucharistic celebration that our faith in Jesus must be genuine and true and uh, what we say about Jesus, what we experience Jesus, you know, should be coming from us and we must tell Jesus, Jesus, you are the Son of God in whom I trust, in whom I depend upon, in whom I seek blessing of God in my life. Amen. Blessed are the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite of heart. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and, praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith. May be this through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart we'll and come up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, 
but just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through Him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we do extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up to you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples to say, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim we for death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and also world gracious, our bishop, and the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially for whom we pray at this Eucharist. Who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, our patron saint of our parish, Apostle Saint Jude, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him. For God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, 
and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and in our temptation, but to those from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom of power, power, and the glory are yours now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, and all of us who are gathered here, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should take my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Spiritual Communion Prayer O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, Come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, and abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with your mind and heart. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those who renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery 
and in the manner of our life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Novena prayer to Saint Jude. Altogether, O Lord Jesus Christ, who when on God did with a strong cry and tears, offer up prayers and supplications to your Father, receive the offering of your service, for in which we desire to join our prayers to yours for the benedictions. You have mentioned the favors you desire. All together, we make this offering for you, Mary, your mother, and to the Savior of the years, the beloved of the Son, for all in the temple and difficult cases, for their sake, accept our prayers, and render them comfortable to our Father. O glorious Apostle, the Savior of the years, patron of all the cases, who chose by God to give testimony of the true way, Suffer all kinds of tortures, and I will make and give your life rather than deny your faith. Obtain for us as strong faith as you are as yours, and I pray you may make us a living to confess your sweet joy, so that we may die rather than deny it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses and we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation, but as deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are ye amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was at the beginning, now and ever shall be God without end. Amen. Saint Jude, pray, pray for, for us. O faithful apostle Saint Jude, loving of our Savior, by the mighty power with which you sanctified your life, so that we may be your children. To the true God and true faith, obtain, obtain for us a grace to always faithful to God and to the Church in all our duties, so as to merit a share of glory in heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it's not a temptation, but it was from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are ye amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, is now, and ever shall be called without end. Amen. Saint Jude, pray for us. O fervent apostle, Saint, Saint Jude, the Deus, whose only desire was to please God, God, God in all things, obtain for us the same desire. desire that we live with, with the same power, we may spend all our life in working out the salvation, so that we may find by the fire of revelation, we may be entitled to an eternal crown of glory in the kingdom of God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and it's not a temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are ye amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Saint Jude, pray for us. Let us pray. O God, o God through the apostle Saint Jude, Saint Jude, that brought us to the knowledge of your name. Grant that we may celebrate this eternal glory by making virtue and by perfecting the glory. We may advance the sanctity to Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Jude. 
most, most holy apostle Saint Jude, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered the most master into the hands of his enemies, has caused him to be forgotten by many. But the church honors and invokes you universally as a patron of hopeless cases of things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable. Make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege accorded to you to bring principles and speedy help where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolation and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations and sufferings. And that I may glorify God with you and all the elect to our eternity. I promise you, O blessed Saint Jude, to be a man of great favors and will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you. Amen. Prayer for the sick. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall get well. Grand Almighty and Eternal God, everlasting help to those who believe, hear us for the sake of whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lord and Redeemer of the world, through the merits and intercession of his holy apostle Saint Jude, show us favor and mercy. Amen. May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Saint Jude, pray for us. And for all who invoke your aid. Through the relics of St. Jude, may Almighty God bless all of you and all the people who are sick with good health, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. 